For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem where they want you to replace the loading by an equivalent resultant force. They're not giving you any numbers, they're giving you letters. Don't let this intimidate you. It's very easy, you just gotta be organized. Now, we gotta find the area under the curve. So this function, this um, distributed load has an equivalent force, F, applied somewhere, some distance. Let's call this right spar. So, These, um, the magnitude of this force is given by the integral from 0 to L, is the distance, of the constant W0 cosine of pi over 2L times x. Now look at the constants, W0 is a constant, L is a constant, L is a constant, pi is obviously a constant, dx. So the integral of uh, cosine of an angle, you got to use the the integral of cosine of uh, the angle times the constant becomes w naught times two l over pi is the reciprocal of the of the fraction inside the parentheses sine of pi over two l x from 0 to L. Sine of 0 is 0, so this whole thing becomes 0 with 0. Now you plug in L and the L is going to cancel out with this L. So when you plug in L, you're going to get sine of pi over 2. So when you plug in L, you're going to get W naught pi over 2L. And that is the magnitude of the force. Now we need to find X bar. Now x bar is given by x times the function which is w naught cosine of pi over 2l x dx from 0 to l same function just multiply by x and the bottom is still the same which we already found let's put f the force just so we don't have so many letters on the screen So, let me open a new page. To do this integral, I'm going to do this integral uh, in pieces. You can bring out the constant and you get W naught from 0 to L x cosine of pi over 2 L x dx. Now remember we know from calculus that u of x times the, the derivative of v of x dx is equal to u of x times v of x minus v of x times the derivative of u of x dx. So what's u and what's v? u of x is going to be x. So u prime of x, which will be the derivative of x, will be 1. v of x will be 2l over pi sine of pi over 2l x. And v prime of x is equal to cosine of pi over 2l x. So you're basically gonna replace these by u of x times v prime of x. So that's gonna become that. So this is equal to <clears throat> the integral of u of x, v prime of x, dx, which is this, and therefore this is true. So now we're going to replace everything that's here with the information in these four equations I just wrote. And you're going to get W naught x 2L over pi 
sine of phi over 2 lx minus that's this first section right here now we're going to do the second section the integral of 2l over pi sine of pi over 2lx times 1 which is u prime dx and all of this is from 0 to l so where we keep solving this you're gonna get this is equal to w naught x 2l over pi sine of pi over 2l x plus 2l over pi times 2l over pi cosine of pi over 2l x from 0 to l and this comes out to be w naught when you plug in l and 0 for both of them you're going to get this equal to w naught times 2l square over pi minus 4l square over pi square which is equal to w naught l square times 2 pi minus 4 all over pi square so this is the final answer for x bar which is the distance from x please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you